Hi, it's Susan Mershon, the Techie Mentor. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's Excel tip is on best fitting columns, and we'll show you a couple different tricks with that. So this is changing column widths on an Excel spreadsheet. So a couple things to start with. First of all, you'll notice in column L that I have a bunch of pound signs, and pound signs represent numbers, and it simply means that your column is not wide enough to show the actual numbers. You'll also notice over here in column K, I have an ex, um, a funny looking format of a number. Um, and basically this is another way that Excel shows you that your column is not wide enough. It really does depend on the type of number that is in the column. So either the pound signs or this exponential formatting that you get are just a way for you to know that your columns, which have numbers in them, are not wide enough to display the contents. So let's start with a couple of real quick tips that you may or may not know. First of all, you can easily change the width of a column by clicking on the right hand border, if you will, between the two columns and simply dragging and dropping. And that will make the column wider. Okay. Another way to do that is to best fit it. And, and the reason that best fit is a benefit is because a lot of times you can't see all the contents of a column. So if you just drag it over, you think it's wide enough, but it's probably not. So let Excel do it for you. So again, I'm going to the same spot. So I want to change column L. So I'm going to go over here between L and M, and I'm going to double click instead of drag. And by double clicking, what that does is it looks at the entire column's contents and then makes it wide enough to fit all of the information. Now, that's a great tip, but if you have several columns of information, the last thing you really want to do, or at least I want to do, is you know go along and double click on each of the borders to make the columns wider. So I'm going to show you how to do the entire spreadsheet at once. So Keep in mind, I'm on a Mac, but this works the same way on the Windows version. Okay, so this is the same on Windows or the Mac. So your screen might look a little different than mine, but it works the same way. So first and foremost, we want to go up here right above the, the row one and just to the left of column A, and we're going to click this blank button. And what that does is it selects the entire spreadsheet. Now what I can do is I can choose any seam, so any seam between A and B or B and C, and I can simply double click once I get that black arrow that points left to right and it best fits the entire spreadsheet. Okay, All of my columns, you'll notice, are best fit. Right Now you can see I have some formatting issues here but I can see all the data. Now I've just noticed a big problem here. Column C is enormous. You can see that, or excuse me, column D is enormous. And I'm thinking, okay, well that's way too big. And I can't get to the column over here to shrink it. So there's a couple things I can do. First of all, I'm going to take a look to see if I can figure out what is causing the problem. Ah, it looks like it's this row of information. So if you've ever copied a uh, text, piece of text, from let's say Word or even an email into Excel, it doesn't automatically wrap. Okay? And that's what the problem is here. So first and foremost, I need to change the, the column width and I can't grab it to change it over here easily. So what I'm going to do instead is change it manually. Now, what you want to do is you want to right click on the column heading. Okay, So I want to change column D, so I'm going to right click on column D and I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose column width. Now remember, I'm on a Mac, you might be on a PC, your menu may look similar but not exactly the same, but you will have a column width option. So you're going to choose that. And then it tells you what the column width is. Well, it says 21.32, so I'm going to change that to 12. I'm just going to throw a, a smaller number in there. And you'll see that it shrinks it now. So I can actually see the edge over here. Still too big. So what I want to do is I want to fix it so it doesn't have to be so wide. I want to wrap the contents of this large cell in order to pull in the column width. Now you can do it one of two ways. You can do the actual cell or you can do the whole column because it's going to change the whole column anyways. So I'm going to go back up to the top of my spreadsheet and I'm going to right click on column D and I'm going to go 
to Format Cells. And this is going to bring up the Format Cells box. I'm going to click on the Alignment tab. Now again, yours will look a little different if you're on a PC, but that's okay. Click on Alignment and you're going to look for Text Control. Under there you've got three options, Wrap Text, Shrink to Fit, and Merge Cells. So I want to wrap the text in this column. So I'm going to check that and I'm going to hit OK. Now you'll notice what it did here. It automatically wrapped the sentence so I can actually make this smaller and you'll notice what happens when I decrease the size of the column. It increases the size of that row. So now I can see all the information easily. and I could even go smaller if I want. So two things. We changed our column widths using best fit and we didn't just do one column, we did several. And then I showed you a common problem that if you copy and paste text directly into a cell in Excel from a Word document or an email, it doesn't automatically word wrap. So I showed you how to fix that and also fix the column widths if you couldn't double click. So that's our tip for today. Please uh, stop by every day or subscribe to our YouTube channel and that way you'll get notifications when we do update and add more goodies. We will be doing Excel, Word, all of the different office tips and tricks. And again, if you enjoy these videos, please comment and share. We'd love to know that this is providing value to you. So thanks again. This is Susan Marchand from the Techie Mentor. Enjoy your day.